Welcome back, Duro Doers. In a previous video, we talked about the chart of accounts and how to edit accounts. In this video, we'll present a more practical method for companies with large charts of accounts, importing. Importing allows us to make our edits and additions to the chart of accounts in spreadsheet rather than having to change everything one by one. Let's take a look at it in our Bloom database. First, we'll open up our accounting app and go into the configuration and chart of accounts. We can select all of our accounts using this top checkbox, and we want to make sure we select all of them from every page. Now we can use the actions, export, and first we want to make sure we use this I want to update data checkbox. This is going to make sure that we are updating the existing accounts instead of adding duplicate accounts. Additionally, we have our chart of accounts template that we've created. On this, we have just the code, the account name, the type, if it allows reconciliation, and if it's deprecated. If you want to remove any of these fields, you could with the trash icon, or if you want to add new fields, you can use the plus icon here. We'll export these fields and take a look at it in our spreadsheet. Here we have those same exported fields plus the ID field. I'm going to mark both the ID field and the account type fields because we want to indicate that these are fields that should not be edited for existing records. We recommend changing the existing chart of accounts instead of creating a whole new chart. When it comes to the account code, that depends on your country's accounting principles. In Belgium and France, for example, the account code is very important when you want to group the accounts in a report. Because of that, in our case, we cannot change the first two digits, but in other countries, only the account type matters. So make sure you check before modifying anything. If you don't need some of the accounts, we recommend you deprecate them instead of deleting them, as deleting them may cause error messages later. If you want to add a new account, simply scroll all the way to the bottom, enter a unique code, a name, the account type, here we'll use expenses, and if it's reconcilable, and if it's deprecated. If you're unsure about the account type or if it should be reconcilable or not, just take the most similar account and stick to the same configuration. There's no need for an, ex no need for an external ID because Odoo will just create and assign one automatically. You may also notice that there's an account with the type current year earnings. This is specific to Odoo and it's really important that you do not modify it. This account enables Odoo to sum all the income and expense accounts at the end of the fiscal year. Again, don't deprecate it, delete it, modify it, or try to create a second account with the type current year earnings. Now we can save our file and we can go back into Odoo. So now that we're in Odoo, we can click on the import button and we'll click on the second option for import chart of accounts. We then click on upload file and we will take our most recent one when we have that nice, happy blue, everything seems valid message, we can go ahead and import. Now we can look through our chart of accounts. We see that those records were properly imported. We'll look for that miscellaneous account and we can see we have our miscellaneous expenses account that we added. It's here, it's the correct type and it does not allow reconciliation just as we imported it. And now you know how to mass update your chart of accounts. Easy peasy. That's all for this video. This has been your pal Dow. I'll see you next time.